being blown up isn't the same twice. There's not one boom that's that's the same. Um, at that point, it's a it's a pucker factor. It's a I hope it's not an EFP uh, blowing through my Humvee um, to you know blow my legs off. My name is Joshua, and this is my story of peace. I was born in Illinois, uh, Roman Catholic. I was raised Roman Catholic. I never felt that connection to Roman Catholicism. I always felt that it was forced. My good grandmother uh, immigrated from Italy, and uh, and she had passed away. I remember actually feeling the presence of God at her funeral, and uh, I interpreted that like I should go to the priesthood because uh, that's all I knew, and uh, and that was the last time I felt it until uh, until about March this year when I started going through my. Uh, my own internal battle. 14 years in the military, uh, you experience a lot of different things and um, you see a lot of different things. And, and you you ask that question, you know, if there's a God, why does X, Y, and Z happen? You know, March, I, I went to my, my, I had a good friend, Mark, die in a, in, in a Black Hawk crash in Afghanistan. And uh, my son and I went down to visit him and I'll, uh, Never forget the phone call that I got that, that he had died. Something snapped, and I knew something wasn't right. And it wasn't fair for me to continue to keep my spouse out of the loop and keep my son out of the loop and and, and drown on the inside. That's that's what it. But it's okay because I can I can function, um, and uh, and that's that's really where it all started. And in my opinion, I feel like the army has uh, dehumanized, you know, uh, war. You know, we've gone from just regular paper circle targets to silhouettes. Um, you know, that's the enemy is a silhouette. So when you see that person peeking out or firing at you, it's it's not a person; it's a silhouette. And that's 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 what's hard <laughs> is um, what makes them better than me. <laughs> Besides me being a great shot. You know, I don't know what a Mujahideen, you know, soldier, fighter has. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they don't have. I don't know if they have a family. I, that's what makes it hard is that you don't, you don't know what you're taking away. So I think, uh, I think of a lot of us lost a little bit of humanity um, going overseas. The message I heard from Jim, uh, I felt like it was a direct, directed right at me. Um, again, like there was nobody else in this church that I was just up in the balcony and, and, and Jim, God was talking through Jim to tell me like, hey, big guy, um, you know, it, it's all right. Um, I'm, I'm talking to you. You need to listen this time. I know I'm forgiven. I do. I know Jesus forgives me. I know God forgives me. I know. I just can't forgive myself. And um, that's that's what I'm dealing with. That's that's the hard part uh, is, is dealing with that. Thank you.